I'd like to share a case of a patient of mine with you. He's a 19-year-old man who's come to see me. He first dislocated his shoulder when he was 17, playing AFL, he had significant injury, dislocated his shoulder, and we'll look at his MRI scan then. So this is the MRI scan when he first dislocated his shoulder a couple of years ago. This is the rotator cuff at the back. This is the back of the shoulder, rotator cuff at the front, biceps is here. You see the deltoid muscle, then skin. This bright area in the back of the humeral head is bone bruising. It's fluid content in the back of the, the back of the humeral head related to the recent dislocation. And he's got a dent here in the back of the shoulder, an indentation there. That's from the shoulder coming out, dislocating out here, and then coming back and hitting this corner of bone here, the corner of the socket, which dents here, and then you get bone bruising related to that. He's then had shoulder surgery with a uh, very good shoulder surgeon, had a labor repair, and that went well for a couple of years. And unfortunately, he's re-dislocated again, playing football again, and popped the shoulder out with another significant injury. And this is the MRI scan now that he's come to see me with. You can see labor at the back of the shoulder is still intact, but at the front of the shoulder, he's got an anchor point here, and unfortunately, he's re-torn that repair. The labrum is out through here, and there's a tear line down through here. You can see an obvious pear shape on the normal right shoulder, the uninjured right shoulder. On the left shoulder, it's no longer pear-shaped. He's chipped off a a piece of bone at the front of the shoulder here. You can see anchor points from the three uh, anchors being placed previously. Now what uh, I've done for him is a ladder day procedure. And what that is, is the um, bone from the front of the shoulder, this coracoid process here. Here we cut this off at the base and that's transferred down to the front of the shoulder and then fixed with two screws. And you can see that here, this is the six week post-op x-ray or post-op CT scan. The bone block is nice and low on the front of the socket. You can see that the outer margin, the lateral margin or the outside edge of the bone block is level with the surface of the glenoid. That means it's stepped back a little bit because you have a layer of cartilage there and that's exactly where we want to see it. We don't want to see it any further outside of that because that will predispose towards early arthritis. 